Good afternoon. Um, today I would like to continue our discussion, our class in physics. Today we we will discuss about the capacitance and dielectrics. Oops. Okay. Okay. Um, capacitance is the one of uh, one kind of uh, passive component in electronics. Um, passive component in electronics, we uh, we have three kind of passive components. Um, capacitor um, and then inductor and resistor and today we will discuss about the capacitor and also in the res resistor here so if you um, see this this uh, figure here we have a uh, two kind of charts this is a positive charts and negative charts or if we can say that if there are charts um, the independent charts or free charts here this is positive and this is negative we can say that it is a, like a conductor so if we have a two conductor and isolated electrically from each other and from their sur surroundings so it will be form a capacitor so if we have a two two uh, conductor and there is a gap between one conductor and another conductor so we can uh, design or we can make a capacitor and then when the capacitor is charged the charge on the conductor or plates as they are called have the same magnitude of key but opposite sign okay so um this is a uh, many kind of the capacitor we can say from the big one and also the smaller one here so the capacitance, um, we ha if we have a conductor and we have a gap between two conductor, so we can design uh, of capacitor. So what is the capacitance? So the capacitance is the um, column per volt. So the capacitor, so cap the capacitance or the unit of capacitor is the farad. So one farad is uh, one column per volt here. So uh, we can see is a key per fee um, where key is the charge so the unit is a column and fee is the fault or um, difference voltage so this is the fault so if we ha I, I said that before that if we have a two plate here this is the positive chart here and another is a negative charge charge here so and there is a, a gap between the positive uh, side and negative side like a d here so there is a potential difference why the potential difference because this is the positive here and the bottom plate is negative so there is a differential voltage between the positive area and negative area so uh, because of this um, this material so we can get the capacitor and then ca the capacitor can store a uh, charge in uh, electric fields so if we have the positive charge so this we, uh, we, we can uh, illustrate like this one in negative charge and the positive charge and negative charge has an area a like this one so this is the positive and negative charge so there is an electric field between the positive charge and negative charge and then the direction of the electric charge is from positive to negative so like this one so the arrow like this one this is the the electric field like this one so um we can for we we can design or we can make a capacitor here it's mean that if we have the positive charge and negative charge so we can store a charge inside of the electric field like this one here we can store a charge here between the positive 
uh, charge and negative charge. So um, the capacitor can store or can save a charge. Okay. So um, to charge a capacitor, so we need a battery like this one. So I say I said before that the capacitor can store or can save a charge. It means that we can uh, uh, charge. We can uh, charge a capacitor to save a charges in the capacitor. This is a battery here. So using the battery or the ac accumulator or another source of electric, so we can uh, char charge the capacitor like this one. This is the capacitor and this is the switch here. So if a switch is open, so there is the open circuit, so the and the current didn't uh, didn't flow in the in the circuit. But if we, if the the switch is turned on like this one, so this is the close close. So the the current will flow, um, and the uh, and then the capacitor can store or can save the charge in the electric field inside of two plate like this ones. So it means that we, we call it this a charging uh, process. And then if we uh, don't connect again the switch, so the capacitor can discharge the charge because uh, because of the, uh, the uh, known the capacitor uh, store or save a charge. So it means that the capacitor can release the charge if the switch is off and then the Another criteria is the voltage inside of circuit is below than the capacitor. I like this one. If we have the capacitor here, this is the battery. And then um, we have the capacitor here. And then we have a switch here. And then the capacitor connects to another element like this one. So the first one, this is the battery. And this is the capacitor. And this is the resistor. So the first, if we... Um, close the switch. This is the switch. Close the switch like this one. So the current will flow from the battery to the capacitor. It means that the uh, the charging process is begins like this one until the the charge in the capacitor or the capacitor voltage is similar to the uh, battery voltage here. So it means that if the capacitor voltage and the battery voltage is similar, it means that the capacitor is full. Or a capacitor store a maximum charge inside of the two plates. So if we turn off the switch, like this one, so now the, the circuit is the capacitor connect to air. It means that the capacitor can release the charge or discharge the charge. So uh, in second, um, after the switch is turned off, the battery is uh, didn't connect to the circuits. It means that the the source of the circuit is the capacitor, not the battery again. Okay. So it's it's why the capacitor um, we we can uh, we can store or we can save the charge in the capacitor. And then we can use uh, the charge to uh, in the circuit. I mean that to to maintain the circuit, to maintain the current in circuits. And then another passive component uh, which can store or save the charge is inductor. But the inductor save or store a charge in the magnetic field. We can we, we will discuss uh, later in another chapter about the inductor, but in this chapter we discuss about the capacitor, how the capacitor can store uh, charge in the electric field. So the capacitor store a key store the charge in an electric field, like this one. But the inductor store a charge in magnetic field. So this is the differences between the capacitor and the inductor. So how to calculate the capacitor? The first, we have to assume that the charge of key on the plates 
I, uh, we, we saw before that we have a two plate this is the positive and this is the negative each plate has a charge like positive key and negative key so we assume the first we assume that a charge key on the plates and then we have to calculate the electric fields between the plates in terms of charge so because of this is the positive charge and negative charge so there there are uh, electric fields here so we have to calculate the electric fields here uh, we have to use the gauss law gauss law saying that epsilon 0 dot flux is equal to key yeah and then uh, flux is integral the closed integral of e d a equal to key like this one yeah you you must be you must remember this um this topic about the gauss law and then the the the, the third is we have to calculate the pot potential differences between the plates so this is the positive and then if we charge the capacitor the positive will connect to the battery and then the negative also connect to negative battery this is the positive and negative this is the battery so um, between the positive charge and negative charge there are potential difference here yeah this is the potential difference between the plates so the v is equal to v f minus vi is equal to minus integral eds and then after we know the key here and then the third we know the v we can calculate the c um where the c is equal to key per phi i said before okay okay so uh the calculating of electric field like this one so epsilon zero dot uh closed integral of eda is equal to key it means that key is equal to epsilon null e a and then we have to calculate the potential difference vf min minus vi is equal to minus integral e to f eds so equal to v is equal to minus 2 plus eds equal to e in e, because if a e constant uh, don't didn't uh, depend on the integral so we can uh, make it like this one so e integral null to d ds what is d d is d gap between the positive plates and negative plates so if we uh, calculate the integral so we can use this one so v is equal to e d e e d sorry so um, the key is epsilon 0 a dot e dot a and then the v is equal to e dot d so the key is equal to c f or c is equal to key per v so it's equal to epsilon 0 e a per e dot d so we can uh, eliminate this one so c is equal to epsilon 0 a per d uh, what is the epsilon zero it is the uh, permittivity constant and a is the area of the plates and d is the gap between the two plates so by using this uh, equation we can calculate the capacitance between uh, two plates and then if the capacitor um, the um, the the capacitor is a cylindrical capacitor like this one so how to calculate the capacitance so the first we have to calculate the key key is epsilon 0 e a uh, yeah we, we make uh, this equation before and then uh, for the cylindrical capacitor like this one the cylindrical capacitor so the a is equal to uh, this one um, the area of the cylinder 2 v r dot l or we if we make a cross section of cylindrical capacitor like this ones um, the l is the length of the capacitor and then the r 
is this one this is the r so what is the e um e is uh, electric field so f v, uh, v is equal to minus 2 plus e d s so uh, in cylindrical capacitor, this is the positive in the core of the cylindrical capacitor. This is the positive charge, and this is the negative charge here. So uh, this equation is equal to these equations because of uh, if we if you say that if we can uh, see these equations. Um, e is equal to k per epsilon zero to v r l like this one. Yeah. So the this this equation by using uh, we can substitute this equation because uh, become this equation minus k per two v epsilon zero. L integral a to b uh, dr per r dr per r so the key per 2 v epsilon 0 l is ln b per a b is this one the distance between core to uh, the negative plates and a is from the core to uh, positive uh, plates of positive charge and then the c is equal to key per v so uh we can we use this one the key is this one and then the phi is this one so we can get c is equal to 2 phi epsilon 0 l per ln b per a so this is from cylindrical capacitor how to calculate the capacitance and then for spherical capacitor so the key is equal to epsilon 0 e to a so the a for the spherical capacitor is 4 v r square and then the second we have to calculate the v integral from minus 2 plus e d s so it's similar to cylindrical capacitor before and then we use uh, this equation e is equal to k per epsilon 0 for v r square like this one so we substitute to this equation so we can get minus k per for v epsilon 0 integral a b to a dr per r square so it's equal to k per for v epsilon 0 dot 1 per a minus 1 per b so it's equal to k per for v epsilon 0 dot b minus a per a b so the c is key per v so we can uh, by using two this equation and also this equation we can get c is equal to 4 v epsilon 0 dot a b per b minus a so this is the capacitor in spherical and then if we connect the capacitor in parallel and in series how to um, to calculate the resultant of the capacitor like this one this is the four parallel so we have the battery and then we have the c1 c2 and c3 here and each of plates has the charge k1 for c1 minus k1 and plus k1 c2 is minus k2 and plus k2 and k3 is minus k3 and plus k3 so we have to calculate the um, the key so k1 is equal to c1 dot v why uh, v is equal because this is the parallel so the parallel is mean that the voltage here is similar to voltage here to voltage here and voltage here so the v is equal or similar so k is equal to k1 plus k2 and plus k3 k is the total total of charge is mean that k1 charge in capacitor 1 plus k2 charge in capacitor 2 and k3 is charge in uh, capacitor 3 so using this equation we can get this equation c1 plus c2 plus c3 dot v so c equivalent is equal to k per v so it's equal uh, equal to k1 plus k2 and k plus k3 so for the parallel the capacitor is um, we make a summation of uh, each of capacitor is opposite y with the in resistor 
So in the register for parallel is not like this is the form for the series of the uh, resistor. Okay, I hope you remember this equation for the parallel. The C equivalent is equal to summation of uh, of component of C C1 plus C2 and plus C3. A and then if we have a circuit in the series like this one, so this is the C1, C2, and C3. Each of circuit has the positive and negative key and then for sharing the voltage of each of capacitor is different actually so this is the v1 v2 and v3 v1 plus v2 plus v3 is equal to v yeah this is the first series cap, uh, voltage so v1 is equal to key per c1 because the it is in series so the key uh, is uh, similar so v2 is key per c2 and v3 is key per c3 so V and V, I said before, V1 plus V2 and plus V3, so equal to key dot 1 over C1 plus 1 over C2 plus 1 over C3. So I say equivalent is equal key per V, so we can get 1 over 1 per C1 plus 1 per C2 plus 1 per C3. So the 1 per C equivalent is equal to 1 per C1 plus 1 per C2 and plus 1 per C3. So this is the fourth series, it's opposite way with the resistor. So it's like this one. Um, the, the question is, uh, what is the key one, key two and key three, if the, the capacitor is arranged like this one and the V is equal to 12.5 volts. The first we have to reduce the circuit to single capacitor, here, like this one, this is the parallel. So the first we make a equivalent of this power uh, difference is just C1 plus C2, we can get 17.3 microfarad. And then this is the series, so we make a one of uh, the one per C equivalent of series equal to one per C12 plus one per C3. So we can get one C123 is equal to 3.57 microfarad. And then uh, we remember that the voltage of the circuit is 12.5 and C123 is 3.57 microfarads. So because of this is the, ser uh, the series only, only this uh, component, so the V here is equal to uh, V input, so the V123 is 12.5. So by ap applying the key is equal to C dot V, so we can get the uh, key 1, key 2, and key 3 is 44.6 microcoulomb. And then uh, each of the capacitor has the equivalent, uh, uh, equivalent have the same, same key, similar key. So key 1, 2, and C1, 2 is equal, has the um, the key is similar 44.6 and key 3 is also 44.6 and then we recall to B so the the capacitor here is 17.3 and then we can uh, see that the uh, the voltage between the capacitors C12 and C3 is uh, we just make uh, by applying phase V is equal to key per C, so we can get V12 is 12.58 volt, and V3 is 9.92. And then we arrange to first uh, circuit, the C1, C2, and C3. Um, this is the parallel, so for the parallel, the voltage is equal. So C12, V12 is equal to V1, and V2 is 2.58 volt, and also for um, for key 3 is also say similar 4.5 microfarad to 9.92 volts and then how to how to determine the key C1 and C2 we can use the voltage um, and then and then the key so we can get um, so we can get the C1 is a uh, 12 point microfarad like uh, in A and then the C2 is 5.3 
and then key is equal to c dot v so we can get the key one by c1 dot v1 and c2 by uh, dot v2 is key 2 so we can get all the component key in the in the exercise in this soal key 1 key 2 and key 3 by this one okay and then the, the another uh, discussion is about the energy stored in electric field i said before that capacitor can store a charge so it means that it, uh, they can store the energy so the potential energy of the charge capacitor may be may be few, few as being stored in the electric fields between its plates so how the capacitor can store or can save the electric the charge by store it in the electric field the first we have to remember that the potential difference in the last lecture is delta v is v, vf minus vi is equal to minus w per key so dw um so uh, w is equal to delta v per key so we make a differential so the we make a differential here so we also differential so the uh, w is equal to v accent the key accent and then the v accent is q accent per c so key accent per c dot the key accent so we make a integral of, to solve this problem so integral of the w is w is equal to one per c integral from 0 to key q1 the q1 so equal equal to key is uh, quadrat per 2c so the energy store in capacitor u is equal to key quadrat per 2c or we can say in another form is uh, u is equal to one a uh, half of c v quadrat and then the energy density the potential energy per unit volume uh, u is equal to a half of c v quadrat per a d and then the c c is equal to epsilon zero a per d so we can uh, substitute to this equation so we can get this equation a half of epsilon zero um, v per d quadrat so we all or we can get u is equal to a half of epsilon zero e quadrat and then if we put a uh, dielectrics in the capacitor like this one so the some uh, property of dielectrics like air polyesterine pepper transformer oil pyrex ruby mica porcelain silicon germanium and metal you can see in table 25.1 if the potential difference between the plates of the capacitor is maintained as by the battery B so the effect of the electric is to increase the charge of the plates the first one it is uh, it not not using a dielectric like this one so the gap is on the air so if we maintain the battery or the potential difference between the plates so the the key of the capacitor will increase but the second if the charge on the capacitor is maintained so in this case the effect effect of the electric is to reduce the potential difference between the plates okay so it's like this one so we, we maintain the key here so the key is the didn't change but the voltage is changed like this one this is the first and then this is the second so what is the dielectric dielectric is we can um, used a dielectric if the di we have the electric field inside of the electric like this one so a dielectric like and the, the arrangement of the dielectric like this one and we can uh, make uh, the direction is a similar similar way by using the electric fields like this one okay and if we apply the electric field in the in the polar dielectric so we can get uh, this like this equation this is the positive plates and negative plates and then between the two plates we insert the dielectric like this one and then from positive to negative we have the e or uh, electric field this is the e out of e0 is electric field here and then you see that the polar dielectric has the similar directions and also the positive is the right side and negative in inside uh, left side it means that and the polar 
the polar dielectrics create a, a another electric field in in the device in the molecule like this one the positive and negative so the total e is equal to epsilon 0 minus e accent e accent is uh, because of the direction of electric uh, of the polar dielectrics and then e0 is the electric fields because of the voltage okay and then the the resultant of field e like this one instead of the electrics is the magnitude of e0 but in smaller magnitude why smaller because the e is equal to epsilon e0 minus e accent e accent is from the polar dielectric like this one so e is equal to e0 minus e accent okay I think this is the enough for the capacitor and the electrics. Uh, we will continue to another chapter. Uh, good afternoon and bye bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.